first you're going to want to SSH into your server, which if you followed our uh, installation of Ubuntu server, somewhere it'll show up somewhere on the screen, uh, will be a fresh install and will be ready to go. So let's just SSH into our, just, or into our Ubuntu box. Which mine is in front of virtual box right now. Almighty. Now the first time you SSH in, you will have to uh, accept the fingerprint. And our super secret password there. And I'm just going to clear the screen for to make it a little bit easier. Now, first off, we're gonna do. We're gonna actually install all the packages we need, which we're gonna do. sudo apt-get install apache2. Enter our password. And typically, if you're installing on, or you know, any time after you've actually ran apt-get update, you would run that first. We're just going to accept. Clear the screen again to make it a little bit easier for us. Now we're going to cd into our Apache directory, which is cd Now in Ubuntu, it works a little bit differently than others, other distributions because they actually make it a little more simple. So we're going to actually cd into Sites available. And you can see that there's a default site there already. But what we're going to do sudo nano test. Actually, we'll do local tutorial. Local now what you've done is you've created a new configuration file called tutorial underscore local. Now in here you're going to put control host asterisk 80 because you're using port 80 on the asterisk will listen on any IP that comes to the server and use port 80. Now I'm going to close that. Now typically, I mean, the next tag I always put is server admin. And for this example, I'm just going to use web admin at tutorial.local because I'm on a local machine and this is but on when you're in when you have an error like an Apache generated error page it'll actually use that ad or that email address in the Apache email, or Apache error page. Now you're gonna want to name your server, so server name and since this is sir, the, since this domain is gonna be Local. That's what you put there. Now you're going to put your aliases. So server alias. Now I always put www here. So it'll be www.tutorial.local. That way, any like if you use a CNAME DNS record with www and direct it to your 
a record for a tutorial about local this this be the virtual host will actually you know use that to show the tutorial about local site and then I always put tutorial about local here Now the next thing you're going to want to put is your document root, which this is where all your web files are stored. Now I'm going to put my document root as r www and tutorial underscore local. And right here's where you're going to give your directory permissions for that document. So I'm going to put directory. I'm going to close this. Now I'm going to put, make my options. Which it used to be that you could just put something like options indexes but now you have to put a plus to actually enable those options. Now if you were to put it minus you would be forbidding those options. But basically you're enforcing these options at the web server le level so that way say you wanted to disable it at the at a, with an HT access file. You can't really do that. Then again, maybe you can't. It's been a long time since I've used Apache, so I'm just doing my best here. Well, over. And that's where you actually say, hey, you can override all the settings. Order file deny. Then allow. And there you've got your directory permissions for the root directory. And you could go down here and you could go and you can add different options and stuff for that other directory, but we're not going to get that advanced today. Now the only thing that you really have left is to uh, actually use your error, or say your error logs, or error and say your access logs, so that's what we'll be doing. We'll do error log. And these are system variables that are set in a Ubuntu, so you can use them here. So we're going to do error log. Local. Uh, log. Now you have a, a vhost file. So we'll control X and save. And now we're going to actually go in and look at what files we have. Var. Let's 
So you can see that root owns the HTML directory, but we create we want to create a directory for the domain we created. So we'll do make dir local or tutorial underscore local run that as root and then we'll do sudo nano tutorial underscore local and we'll just put index HTML let's do some quick HTML And then let's look at the default site is going to be or what's in the HTML directory. So we'll go into LS HTML. Okay, so we'll edit that. So HTML index. And you can see that the title of the default page is going to be Apache 2. You want to default page it works so let's uh clear this I'm gonna do something since it's a local domain we have to make a few changes so now Let's just do so let's you see your curl to a uh, Do one two seven point zero point zero point one. Now you can see that this is the actual Ubuntu or Ubuntu default page. And now verify that with you with the title right here. So I'll clear that, and now let's do so the A two so A two E N S I T E. So Apache two enable site, and then we're gonna do tutorial local. Now you can see the enable the site. Now we're going to reload Apache, so sudo service apache reload. So now if we do a um, and now you can see that that's our site or page we created. And that is how you install Apache and configure virtual hosts in Ubuntu. Thanks for watching our tutorial. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please join the forums at www.thecomputercrowd.net or click the I in the upper right hand corner.